Hello folks, welcome to Adam's Workshop. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Mixig CP2100 Current Probe. I've been wanting this probe since I first bought the Mixig. Anyway, I just now received it in the mail. Let's see what we got here. Packaged nice and nice and good. All right, comes in a little case. Mixig current probe. And here we are. Looks like it comes with a little warranty card. Did you see that? Nothing on the back. Nice soft, let me zoom you in here a little bit. Nice soft case. We got looks like USB. I'm not sure what that one's called. It's like a square USB. Guess that plugs into the probe. Pretty neat. Pretty nice. Nice thick cables. One end goes to your scope, and of course the other end around a wire it does show polarity here, positive and negative, so you run the wire through the right direction. I do like how they enforced right here where it's connected, because that's always where they fall apart in every device, so hopefully that will give it, give it more life. You got two ranges 10 amp and 100 amps and we have a zero button and then um, I guess manual zero and these come in um, two different options you either get the CP 2100 a or CP 2100 B I believe a is bandwidth is approximately 800 kilohertz and the B one is approximately 2.5 megahertz um, Let me set you up. I'll show you real quick the data sheet so you can see the difference between the two I switched camera stands with y'all here y'all yeah i'm from texas we say y'all just what all right so if you want to get information on these probes you could google mixig cp2100 user manual look for this one here that shows the pdf mixig acdc current probe cp2100 series user manual this one here says like static.l shop Go ahead and click on that and it brings up a nice data sheet for you um, like a user manual actually I'm just going to scroll through real quick so y'all can see it i'm not going to read it all I'll just scroll through and y'all can pause it and read it if you want to or you can just go to the website and read it for yourself i haven't used this probe yet i just opened it right now on this video but yeah you see here the cp2100 uses a standard bmc interface for oscilloscopes or multi-connector for adapters the maximum current that can be measured is 100 amps peak 70 ARMS it's divided into two models, CP2100A and CP2100A measurable bandwidth range is DC approximately 800 kilohertz and CP2100 Bravo measurable bandwidth range is DC approximately 2.5 megahertz um, has two optional ranges 10 amps and 100 amps and with an automatic and manual zero adjustment um, I'll have to read the rest of that anyway just scroll through let y'all see real quick and then we'll get outside and um, play with it a little on a vehicle or two here you go here's the specs um, from what I noticed really the only I mean, whether you go with uh, Alpha or Bravo Bravo, the only difference is the bandwidth here. As you can see, A is approximately 800 kilohertz, and B is approximately 2.5 megahertz. Other than that, as you can see, the, all the specs are the same for both of them. I'm not going to read off all this. I just scroll through kind of slow, kind of fast, so you all can get an idea. And like I said, you can go to the same site here and read it for yourself. Let's scroll through here real quick. I don't want to take too much time on this. It's instructions, maintenance. 
That'd be that, my friends. All right, turn this off, and I will get back. I will get outside, turn the camera back on, and we'll compare this to. I've got a Pico um, Low Current Probe. We'll compare it to that. Okay, we are now outside. It is hours later. I made these videos right after the last one when I was inside. Um, came back and came outside, made the videos. Unfortunately, the sun and the glare was just horrible. So was the wind. I got rid of the sun and glare. Unfortunately, it's still windy out here. Um, let me tell you what we got going on. All right, we got the Big Six Scope on channel one. For comparison's sake, we're running the Pico TA018 set to a 20 amp scale on the 20 amp setting on channel number two the blue trace we got the big sig cp2100 and they are both connected with the fuse buddy on the fuse for the fuel pump i will well, let me show you okay yeah so I'm going to set you all up here on the scope. And I know the wind is terrible guys, I don't know what to do about it. I'm going to have to invest in a camera that can block the wind out I suppose. I guess that's what everybody else does. Oh no, I'm new to this, so bear with me. If anything, I'll do a voiceover inside. Um, Alright, the yellow trace is the Pico, the blue trace is the Mixig. Um, the Mixig is a brand new current probe to me. I've never used it before today, so I wanted to use the Pico kind of You know just uh, to compare it to you know the Pico is known to be reliable so anyway uh, just to show you I've already noticed um, the, the, the mixing scope is on look I'll pause this both traces um, I'm gonna overlap them and as you see I mean, they literally, let me zoom in, they're identical, identical traces. So, yeah, so the Mixig is spot on. I mean, it is right there. Um, I want you to notice um, on the Mixig, when you go to zero it, when you go to zero it at the beginning, First of all, it glows and the zero button will glow too when you press it. I'm on the 20, 10 amp setting. If you notice, it keeps flashing. Watch, and it beeps. What that is, is because we're going over out of range. We're going over 10 amps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna switch to the 100 amp scale. I'm gonna have to adjust it on the scope here for the attenuator and yeah all right there we go and it's still gonna line up spot on as you can see so yeah the mix sigs right right on the money so happy with that like I said I've been wanting this current probe since I got the scope uh, and I just now just now got it so I'm money um, yeah so that's a current ramp for the fuel pump as you notice it is a bit uneven that's not the scope or either one of the probes that is the fuel pump in the car this car runs fine there's no problems with it um, as far as fuel pressure goes, every once in a while, she says, every once in a while, there is uh, 
small extended crank time. But she says it doesn't happen much at all. Um, I'm assuming one or more of the commentators, as you can see, maybe are getting a bit corroded or what have you. So it's, it's probably just a matter of time before for this pump goes out. The car's got over 200,000 miles on it. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on it and, you know, if we have problems with it, we'll address it when they come. I don't see the need to put in a new fuel pump in at this time. Like I said, the car runs just fine. All right, so there's current ramp, fuel pump using the mix -Sig. CP2100 compared to the Pico. So now that we know that the mix sig is spot on, I'm going to go ahead and remove the Pico current probe. Go ahead and remove this. Turn this one off. Disconnect it from the scope. All right, this video ended up longer than I planned on, so I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. We'll pick up on the next video doing the current and voltage on the fuel injector. Thanks for watching.